I represent Make in India Cell Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council, which is a public sector of uh, Department of Biotechnology in New Delhi. So, uh, though Make in India Cell exists uh, across the uh, departments in uh, in the government of India, different ministries, but this is a dedicated cell for biotechnology in uh, uh, DBT. So under Make in India cell, we, we are assigned a lot of tasks like we have already graduated or matured startup uh, already in the market. Uh, we are mandated to like uh, increase and in their visibility, bringing uh, tax incentives, uh, uh, policy reforms to them, uh, to the end users to extend the facilitation. We are creating opportunities for our startups to go outside, showcase their innovation, and then fetch the global investment into their thing. Then we are holding the strategy meets, different strategy, it's B2B, B2G, all sort of meetings we are handling, so that we can bring in more FDI to our country. Uh, our startups already started claiming funding from outside, and now they are being uh, facilitated through BIREC. We are connecting them to investors, we are connecting them to global ecosystem, and we are also giving the major policy inputs based on the stakeholders meet. We are giving like what kind of policy reforms we need, what kind of tax incentives would help our startups to go further outside the ecosystem. So this is the basic crux of Make in India Cell. Global Buy India again is another initiative uh, started from Department of Biotechnology. Uh, Bireg is the implementing partner and Make in India Cell in Bireg is steering that activity. So uh, like Global Buy India would be a mega congregation of uh, around 4 to 5,000 people from across the globe. Uh, 30 to 35 countries are uh, joining in this mega event. Earlier what we were doing, we were taking our startups outside for uh, entertaining for like uh, witnessing those kind of opportunities to connect with the global investors to be a, to pitch themselves and to get the reverse pitch from the investors this was happening till date so we thought a wiser plan mm -hmm. rather than taking outside we thought of bringing all the stakeholders on a platform like global by india so this Global Buy India would have multiple sessions, around 42 sessions we have planned so far, which would include CEO roundtables, investor roundtables, regulators, uh, startups, then state pavilion, international pavilions, then ministry pavilions, uh, B2B, B2G meetings. Then we a very special feature we have kept is the bio partnering. Mm -hmm. So this would be at par uh, as per the international standards. You can book your slot, your meeting with the global industries. You can always uh, like uh, show your interest. Once they say uh, confirm uh, yes to your meeting, you will be given a dedicated slot to discuss your business aspects further. So these are the various avenues we are trying to create through this uh, massive event, which has been planned with the uh, vision of uh, Dr. Renu Sharup, uh, Secretary DBT, and we is uh, like implementing through BIRAC. So how many uh, startups are there currently in biotech? See, uh, if we say like directly, how many directly startup we have supported, we say 1000 plus startups. But like direct and direct, like they have been benefited. See like uh, number of startup aspirants here in this hall. Uh, then indirect benefits come, so uh, then they, they are in thousands. Roughly they, we say 20 to 100 plus startups we have supported. And we are aiming to support 10,000 startup by 2020. Uh, that is the uh, aim as of now. And these aims uh, keep changing with the kind of increasing funding we get, with the enhanced support we get from different ministries. Now, apart from DBT, other ministries are joining hand to witness this greater transformation like Department of Promotion of Policy and uh, uh, this industry, DPIIT is coming in, MSME is coming in. So a lot of transformation is happening. So I see there's a great, uh, like, uh, through this event, we are going to crea create a greater platform for very uh, good interaction for the startups. And uh, as I said, not only the startups, all the stakeholders, be it incubator or academy, uh, academia or the BNS incubator or the startup or the businessman, private company, regulator, everyone is going to be benefited through this event. So we are just uh, thinking to create a world-class event uh, through DBD and Barak. So how many cells do you have across India? Are there different, each uh, city has it, it is, is it zone wise? Uh, why I ask this question is how do startups uh, reach out to you or how do they connect with you? Uh, yes, that is a very uh, relevant question. Earlier, we uh, like Bayrex started in Dulay seven years ago, we started in 2012. But uh, then uh, to make our presence span India, 
uh, we created these bionest incubators we created uh, regional centers we create uh, we had different mou and different partners national and international so these are our extended arms so applicant apply through this buy in incubator for some of the schemes some of the schemes they can reach directly to the uh, uh, buy rack but uh, what is the benefit uh, applying through these incubators that th they get the preliminary screening they get different kind of mentoring during the apply application process apart from that once they are through uh, through this we also get the quality applications and then we work further on them we assign them for further review we call them for face to face interactions and that is how we decide whom to uh, give the money so it's highly competitive now but still we are receiving larger and larger applications all the time and uh, like this this is a greater transformation that we are witnessing we we never saw that happening but it's actually happening it's uh, really good to see and we have 41 incubators now in our country 41 bionest incubators uh, five regional centers they are serving as a extended arms and clusters they are working more on to how to make our incubation facilities at par with the world class facilities to just to connect them with the global ecosystem these regional centers are working we have five bi connect offices and and many more like uh, several schemes several stakeholders so now we are we have been strengthened with these partners so one question from the startup community yes. uh, every young you know aspiring entrepreneur Uh, one of the uh, concerns he has is he or she has is finding the right investor and investment for the idea uh, you, yourself is it doing anything to find or bring together genuine angel investors because that's the bigger biggest concern there are many angel investors but finding the genuine one yes uh, i think uh, for that i would have uh, two things uh, one is uh, an uh, in the upcoming global by india we would be launching a uh, dedicated biotech angel network this will be happening first time in india biotech angel network we, apart from that we have uh, vc based funding for the startups as of now we have 14 ace fund partners ace is the fund of funds so what government of india has done it's it's very wise decision very tricky they took uh, brought all the private investors which were investing somewhere else like real estate uh, it anywhere else but they were not into biotech domain so this time what they did they brought the these investors on a, through the ace fund partners these eight fund partners are mandated to invest the 2x of the money that government is putting in so through that we have generated uh, 300 cr corpus in the country which is available in the market they are now in the search of the right startup who has uh, reached to a certain level who is looking for follow on funding so i think this is massive first time in the country uh, th 300 cr corpus is available That's and they and this drawdown has started uh, they have started investing in further into the startup so like it's uh, people coming back to us like okay who are the is fund partners how to approach them uh, today i received many queries so that is wonderful it's it's like uh, we are we are feeling like cloud 9 had this time honestly saying that uh, uh, what uh, someone has envisioned uh, years before and it's like actually happening now 300 cr is a good amount yes. this is a experiment if it goes well uh, we are expecting many more funds to come into this uh, corpus and it will keep on increasing